Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you the offshore 5.0.1 uh, Lollipop leaked firmware for the Galaxy S4. Now, previously, I made a video uh, talking about the i9500 and some other uh, Galaxy S4 with the non Snapdragon uh, processor. And I said that I have this Snapdragon as uh, 505 version. So, um, so that's why I said that uh, I will, won't be doing that review. But someone posted the uh, XDA link down in the description. I checked it out, and someone out there has some done some changing for uh, the Galaxy S4 i9500 ROM uh, uh, leak firmware, Lollipop optional leak firmware. Uh, so they have done done some changing, and they made it compatible with this i9. 505, uh, but of course um, it, it comes with a lot of uh, defects and all that. We have some problems, uh, but anyways, I can show you the uh, how the lollipop is going to look like on your Galaxy S4 when you install the 5.0.1 official. Uh, so you can see that this is this is how the lock screen is going to look like. Uh, if we unlock it, you can see we have this uh, cool effect, and you can also quickly go into camera. But you can see uh, with my Galaxy S4 when I installed it. Uh, this is keep coming. Uh, this is coming with this message. Unfortunately, Samsung keyboard has stopped. This message just keep pops out every time. I can't really uh, deal with it. Uh, and uh, also, you can see that uh, these these are the apps we have. You can see S Memo and all that. And a good thing that it is rooted. This leak firmware. Um, but we also have these Chinese apps. I'm not sure uh, what they are, but. Uh, you can see that also we have this video player. Let's check out the camera. Now uh, the uh, the Wi-Fi doesn't work, and uh, also if you want to know how to install it on your Samsung Galaxy S4 i9505, which is the Snapdragon 600 variant, you can check my channel out. Uh, link will be in the description. Full tutorial how to install it, and you can test it out. And it has some bugs, but just to for testing purpose, you can test it out. I will not recommend you to use it as the daily driver. You can see uh, that error that keeps uh, popping up. Uh, but you can see that we have this camera app, uh, which looks uh, as the same, not that much different. We can have we can touch to focus at the different sides. We also do have this uh, mode um, choose from. That's pretty pretty great. A lot of modes to choose from. And then also we have uh, the video recording mode here. If you go down here into the settings, um, we have this uh, flash setting. We also have uh, this uh, picture uh, selective uh, auto night detection actually. And then also have this timer. And then also we have the video mode from uh, slow motion, fast motion. You can see these other modes, uh, share option, all that. Uh, Pretty nice camera app here, but you see not that much of uh, improvement. And also we have these quick effects on this side. Um, let's check out more stuff. So if we hold down this button here, you can see now we do have this lollipop based, uh, based uh, card based uh, multitasking area. And also we have this Google now on the uh, middle. And this button to close everything at the same time. And this button to go into the RAM. And all that stuff you can see and uh, let's close everything in the background you can uh, slide it off uh, like this or you can click uh, this button here oh it's really getting annoying but anyways if we hold down here you can see that this visitors and home screen and wallpaper option which is pretty normal like we have on the KitKat uh, but now we have this light blue theme here in the notification panel uh, quick setting panels and uh, you can see that uh, the bad thing about this uh, new update is that uh, I, th I don't know if they are going to in include the ultra power saving mode or not, but this leak firmware doesn't come with that. Uh, I'm not sure. I will be installing the official one from their website when it will going to be available. But at the moment, you can see that there is no ultra power saving mode, uh, which is uh, pretty bad. They should have to include it for the S4 here. And um, also, if we go here into the settings, of course. And you can see that now we have this more clean settings like I've uh, seen for the Note 3. Uh, so this is extremely uh, neat. We have all the features in their respective uh, area like my device feature, account feature here, and uh, connection feature here. So that is extremely great. Um, so if we go down to the more section, now we have this more section which is a little bit different than the Note 3 actually. We don't have that more function on the 
uh, Note 3. But if we go down about device, you can see this is the GDI 9505, and also it is having the Android 5.0.1 one lollipop. Okay. You can see this is having this, and also uh, one more thing is that uh, if we try to enable the Wi-Fi, you can see if we try to enable it, the Wi-Fi, you can see it doesn't enable. I can't see it doesn't turn on, and that is because the Wi-Fi is broken, and also we have this brightness area here and all that. So I only done a review of uh, the S5 500 Wi-Fi. You can check my channel out. Uh, pretty great video. Uh, so uh, you can see that it is uh, mainly uh, just like we have uh, on the S5 theme wise and all that they have adopted a lot of things we have everything is now neat and clean and uh, mostly they have used a white uh, background and all the apps and all that if we go here into the messaging so you can see we have this the same messaging app like we have on the S5 and the Note 3 5.0 also we have this contacts with that green eye, the green layer and all that dialer also pretty clean here you can see white and white so this is the leaked version here uh, this is how the official is going to look like this is not the official this is leaked I will not recommend you it to you install it on your S4 uh, you might have some problem but if you want to install it if you are interested then go ahead and uh, and visit the link in the description check out my uh, full tutorial on that and uh, make sure you make a backup before uh, you know heading to that tutorial make sure you are rooted and you have TWRP recovery instead of CWM uh, but anyways you can see uh, this is uh, not usable uh, you have this error Wi-Fi won't work and of course Wi-Fi is the most uh, basic thing that you need on your S, uh, on, on your any phone uh, but uh, that's why I won't recommend use. So also, you can see we have the Galaxy Samsung Updates app here, specific. Um, so, really, really fast. If we talk about if it wasn't this error, this is actually fast. And uh, I'm not sure about the battery life, but I charged it full um, like tomorrow, yesterday. And uh, I installed this uh, ROM yesterday. And you can see that. And up till now, uh, I haven't used that much but you can see that this battery I didn't charge it for full it's about like 80 percent but you can see that well we do have a lot of battery remaining so basically what logic update on the Galaxy S5 that that Galaxy S5 has now extremely great battery life and we might have the same improvement on the S4 also uh, but uh, but anyways this is how it looks like pretty clean and be sure to subscribe to my channel when I will be making the official firmware video pretty soon. So if you are interested, just check out the channel uh, link in the description uh, for uh, the tutorial. And I'll see you next one. Peace out.